Welcome back. I'm so excited for today's core routine because I'm going to challenge you on this one. And this is more of an intermediate to advanced core routine. So if you are more on the beginner route, do not hesitate to take some breaks. You don't have to do all of the reps. I really want you to focus on form and connection with your body. You don't need anything besides yourself and a mat. And we're going to get started in a tabletop position on all fours. Make sure that those wrists are directly under your shoulders. Fingers are spread out so that you can place each pad of the finger on the ground. Your knee is directly under your trochanter. I'm going to have you tuck your toes under, pull your belly button in, take a deep inhale on your exhale, lift your knees off the ground. We're going to hold this here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, and one. Release. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, pull that belly button up towards your spine. Lift again for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Walk those feet all the way back. Keep those hands in that same position. You are going into a hand plank. Roll the shoulders down and back. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, pull that belly button in. We're holding steady here. We have a 15 second plank. Nothing crazy. We're going to be adding on to this. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Step it back in. Set those knees down. This time you're going to step it back into that high plank and we're going to alternate slowly bringing a knee into your chest, kind of like mountain climbers, but these are going to be slow and controlled. So you're back in that high plank position. Again, take a deep inhale. As you exhale, lift that belly button up and come into that plank position. You're going to alternate bringing your knee into your chest and then stepping back. Knee into your chest, stepping back. I want you to focus on keeping your back as flat as possible on this one. We're not going to round, really just isolating through those lower abdominals. Belly button is pulled in. You should still be able to breathe during this exercise. Three more each side. Three. You've got this. Two. One more. One. And one. Excellent. Knees down. Bring those arms onto your forearms for a forearm plank. You can either have palms facing one another or palms down to the ground. Try not to prayer those hands because we don't want to round our upper back. We want to keep it as flat as possible. You're going to step back into that high plank position. Again, wrists are in line with your elbows. Elbows are directly under your shoulders. You are in that forearm plank position. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, lift your belly button up. You're gonna alternate tapping a knee to the ground and pulling it up. Knee to the ground, pull it up. Belly button is engaged the entire time. You're pulling it in. Make sure you're not holding that breath. It's really easy to hold that breath, but we don't wanna do that. I want you to focus on your form. Keep that core engaged. You got it. Four more. Four. Three. Great job. Two. One more, one, and one. Excellent. Flip over, extend those legs out in front of you. Take a deep inhale here. As you exhale, we're gonna create that C curvature of your spine. So you're gonna be rolling back in this exercise with those legs nice and long. What's going to help is you bringing your legs a little bit wider than hip distance apart. Not crazy wide, you're not at each end of your mat, just a little bit wider than hip distance apart. Start up tall, take a deep inhale. As you exhale, create that C curvature of the spine. Belly button is pulled in towards your rib cage. Arms are extended out in front of you. You're gonna alternate pulling a knee in towards your chest as you exhale. When you inhale, bring that leg back down. Alternate, exhale, lift. Inhale all the way back down. You can challenge yourself on how far back you go, but make sure when you're doing this exercise, you are not creating that bread loaf in your core. You wanna keep your core nice and strong and engaged towards your back. You don't wanna be pushing it out in front of you. You're doing amazing. Five. 
five, belly button in, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Bend those legs, come all the way up, sitting nice and tall. Arms are going to be extended out in front of you. You're going to take a deep inhale as you exhale, create that curvature and lean it back. Belly button is pulled in strong. Eyes are going to follow your left hand. Left hand opens on your exhale. It closes on your inhale. Right side. Exhale. And inhale. Belly button is pulled in the entire time. Exhale. Left side. And inhale. Think about your core. Is it pulled back towards your belly button? Slow and control this key. Can you lean back just a little bit more? Challenge yourself here. Really rotating through. Two more each side. Check yourself. Is your belly button pulled in? If not, pull it in a little bit more. Last one. Beautiful. Sit up nice and tall. Take a breath here. We're going to take another inhale. We're going to exhale and come right back down into that C curvature. Arms are extended out in front. Lift your left leg up. Lift your right leg up. Plug your belly button. Pull it in. We're going to pulse those arms for our 100s. Down as you inhale for five. And exhale for five. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two, three four, five, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, check your core, are you pulling your belly button in, check your breath, are you breathing, can you have stronger arms, 20 more, one more, and release sit all the way up nice and tall great job on those grab onto the backs of your legs slowly lower yourself all the way down arms and legs are going to be extended out and this is where things get interesting because we're going to do a full tuck crunch sit up you're going to extend your arms up overhead now if you are more beginner you can take this into an alternating sit up instead of a full double sit up that is perfectly fine i will show you both options for now extend those arms out extend those legs out you're going to take a deep inhale as you exhale and crunch you're going to pull your arms through you're going to pull your legs in you're reaching towards your ankles belly button is pulled in so really activate through your center as you inhale extend back out okay take a deep inhale exhale crunch it up and release now if you're a beginner i just want you to take one leg at a time you can still sit all the way up pull that leg through crunch and then set it back down just alternate sides so that you can stay even ready take a deep inhale as you exhale pull it through inhale out Exhale, crunch it up. Use that core. Two more. Last one, big strong core pull. And lay it all the way down. Nice job. I want you to bend your left foot. It is not even with your knee, so it's not all the way up. Bring it back so it's in line with your calf of your right leg, which is out straight. Left hand is going to be down by your side. Right hand is up by your ear. If you are a beginner, you are just going to crunch and bring that knee to your elbow. Okay, that is perfectly fine. Just focus on your core here, pulling down towards the mat not pressing up towards the ceiling. If you are more intermediate or advanced, you are taking this into a full setup. Those legs, secure them onto the ground. You're gonna come all the way up, knee to elbow, and then all the way back down. If you're a beginner, just focus on your breath. Don't go too fast so you can stay with my count. Ready, inhale, 
as you exhale, set it up. Beautiful. We have eight. Inhale, exhale, seven. Inhale, exhale, six. Check your core. Five. Are you pulling your belly button in? Four. Three. Two. One more. Good. Nice job. Switch that arm and leg out. Left hand now goes behind your head. Feel free to do your beginner or the full setup. Choice is yours. Take a deep inhale as you exhale. Sit all the way up. Knee to elbow. Inhale, exhale. Make sure you can hear my breath so that you time this perfectly. Amazing job. Three more. Two. Last one. Beautiful job. Pull your knees in towards your chest. We're going to take those legs 90 degrees. Make sure your knees are directly over your hip, aka your trochanter, not over your belly button. You're already going to feel your core working nice and hard. Fingertips behind your head. Lift your shoulder blades up so you're activating through the top of your rectus abdominis. Alternating, alternating. Extend that leg out. Pull it in. Extend it out. Pull it in. Keep that belly button pulled in. Keep your elbows out wide. Focus on your breath here. Exhale out. Inhale in. Exhale out. Inhale in. Two more each side. Is your core plugged? One more each side. Beautiful. Rest your head down for just a second. You can pull those knees into your chest. You're going to extend those legs back up towards the ceiling. This time they're nice and straight. Shoulder blades are rolled off the ground. Pull on to one calf. You are going into those scissor drops. Double squeeze in and switch. <sighs> Belly button's plugged. Pull it in towards the mat. Nice straight legs here. Point those toes. I should be focusing on that core. Can you pull it in a little bit more? Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Feel free to drop those legs for just a second. Hands are going to go back behind your head. You are going into that slow and controlled cr crisp cross, aka your traditional bicycles. We just do these a lot slower in that Pilates style. So you're going to start with those legs 90 degrees, fingertips behind your head. Roll your shoulder blades up. Keep your elbows out wide. Twist. Eyes look towards your back elbow. Then switch. Be mindful of your core here. Pull it in a little bit more. After you rotate, really activate through your entire core, your rectus abdominis, your internal and external obliques, and your transverse abdominis. Those are all working hard on this one. Notice how slow we're going. Burns a little bit more. Four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Feet are going down. Separate them a little bit away from the body. Don't have them directly under your knees. Pull them a little bit farther away. Bring those arms up overhead. You are going into a full setup. Activate through your center. Reach it through. You're going to sit all the way up. Reach towards your ankles, ceiling, ankles, and overhead. Ankles, ceiling, ankles, overhead. Use your exhale to lift yourself up. Take a deep inhale on the way down. Exhale. 
that core is working. Four more. Four. Great job. Three. Up, down, and reach. Two. One more. We're going to hold this one halfway. Come halfway down. Bring those legs up. Turn this into a twist. Side to side. Tap for the ground. Pull your belly button in as tight as you can. This is the last thing that we have. Stay strong. Really pull it in. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. Pull it in. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, nice job. Release it, come into that mermaid position with legs on one side. Grab onto your ankles as you reach over to the side, stretching out your side body, and then mermaid it to the other side. One more time, reach it over. And release, beautiful. Swing those legs around to the other side. Grab onto those ankles, sit up nice and tall, reach it over. Mermaid it to the other side. One more reach over. Beautiful. Thank you so much for joining me for this quick core workout. I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I did. I would love to hear from you in the comment section what you want to see more of, what you liked about this specific routine. I am so glad that you are here to join me in these workouts, and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow right here on the mat.